Svetlana. All right, how's it going today, ladies and gentlemen? It's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. I hope you're all doing well today. I was doing all right until I was made aware of this channel. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at a massive YouTube channel. Mo Vlogs has around 10 million subscribers. Now, I'm just gonna cut straight to the point, okay? This guy kind of sexualizes his sister through YouTube thumbnails. You heard me right. This is not his wife. This is his sister. If you take a look at some of these thumbnails, I'm not gonna lie, they're uh, a little bit sus. But nonetheless, enough talking about it. Let's take a look at one of his videos. All right, so here's the first one we're gonna be taking a look at. World's Craziest water slide. All right, so pretty normal video it looks like, but uh, here we have his sister in her swimming suit. Nothing wrong with that, of course. Now, you're gonna slowly start to kind of understand how this is very, very weird as my video progresses on about this channel, but I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's watch this one. <laughs> All right, so starting off, you might be confused. All right, this seems like a very normal channel. Starts off with his sister and him walking in the room, introducing the video, all that stuff that, you know, normal family channels do, except for usually it's the wife, not the sister. Hey, yo! Welcome back. We're alive. All right, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So today we have a very exciting vlog because we're not at home today. We're actually here at an island. Yes. All right, guys, let me show you the view right now, guys. Oh my God. Woo! Okay, so, so far, this seems like a normal family channel, all right? They're flexing on their nine-year-old fans. Maybe they don't even realize that they're flexing on their fans, but they're indirectly flexing. I bet they know, dude, they gotta. It's a family channel. It's in their roots, for sure. Woo! Look, there's, there's, there's people like driving around. Guys, look at him, look at him, this guy is going. You know, it takes them around half the video to just get to the water park, so I'm just gonna skip to when they actually get there because, you know, I'm not here to waste your time. Guys, today's about to be an exciting day, so it's time to get on the ride. So right now, we are about to go onto our first ride, me and Lana, hey! Come on, come on, let's go! All right, guys, so right now- Okay, I'm gonna pause it right here. Look what she's wearing, all right? Looks like a normal swimsuit, right? Absolutely nothing wrong with this swimsuit right here. It's actually not really what we're focusing on. What we're focusing on is the thumbnail, okay? You take a look at this. Why exactly is she wearing a swimsuit that shows more in the thumbnail, but not in the actual video? Now, you can obviously tell that this isn't the same swimsuit at all, which leads me to the conclusion that Mo Vlogs decided to throw his sister onto Photoshop and replaced her body with somebody else's body to get the kids to click on the video because it's a girl in a swimsuit. This is what I mean when I say that Mo Vlogs is quite literally exploiting his sister for views. And I might get some comments saying, Poncho, dude, she might be changing into that swimsuit at the end of the video or something, man. You're just lying to our faces. I promise you, dude, I'm not. You can even go watch the exact video all the way through and you will never see her change into that swimsuit that you saw in the thumbnail. I think that Mo Vlogs is a complete weirdo for this. Maybe he's just too greedy to the point where he doesn't mind sexualizing his sister for more YouTube ad revenue. But I have no clue. I can't really read his mind or anything. On the first First ride, ready? Yeah, she's never wearing that swimsuit, but you might be saying, Poncho, this is the only case of him sexualizing his sister, all right? He's not that bad, all right? He's not that bad, dude. Well, listen, all right, I have plenty of other cases. Just wait. The Mo Vlogs vault just gets weirder and weirder, ladies and gentlemen, so let's take a peek. So I've made a discovery chat, okay? I've not only realized that he does the thing with his sister with the thumbnails, but he also fakes every single one of his videos, okay? All his content is fake, which is, you know, amazing. I only love seeing fake videos pop up in my feed, dude. They don't just totally pissed me off. Next up, from Mr. Mo Vlogs, we're gonna be taking a look at I Lost My Best Friend. Oh, shit. Well, uh, fuck. This guy, uh, had apparently just lost his best friend. I don't know if he died in a car accident or something like that. I do really kind of apologize. It's gonna be really serious when I watch this video because, you know, I don't want to disrespect Mo Vlogs and his passing of his best friend. I'm just saying, dude, at first glance, looking at this thumbnail and title, you think his best friend died or something like that. You know, there's the broken heart emoji, whatever. Let's just take a look at the video. I'm Thanos, bro. <laughs> Thanos. Yeah. What? What? Why is it starting out like this, dude? I lost my best friend, and you're starting it off in, on this note. Well, that just kind of brings the idea in my head that 
Maybe your friend isn't dead. Let's just keep going. <laughs> ah, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. Oh my god, I don't know why I always do that, guys. <laughs> yeah, no vlogs. Yeah, you do always do that. Um, yeah, that's something that you do a lot. Uh, can you get into your friend, though? That's kind of why I clicked the video, bro. I just want to say, if you like that intro, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button because no, that intro takes a lot of energy to do. Okay, so what? Welcome back to another vlog. Today, we actually have a pretty fun day ahead of ourselves, guys. Well, what? Okay, I'm just gonna, like, skip to the part where he, like, mentions his friend passing, or, like, his friend in general. He's kind of just going completely off topic from what the title of the video was. Actually, I take it back. I found the really funny clip in the middle of the video. I kind of want to show you it. All right, oh, bus, bus. We cannot go with the bus. Okay, we can. Okay. <laughs> man trying to die or something he accelerated while turning that is the best way to die in an automobile look at him right here you see them jerk to the side while he accelerates and you can hear the engine and shit god damn dude i'm starting to think this guy is like the definition of privilege completely mistreating your what is he driving like a ferrari or something now listen i can't even talk because i gas my mustang all the time but i don't turn while accelerating it dude you trying to swerve into a pole or something and when i mean accelerate while turning i mean like gassing it while turning like you can obviously accelerate while you turn anyways guys right now i'm here with a special guest and i don't even know how to say this but no! <laughs> i don't even know who you are with those glasses i can't see uh... i haven't seen bin baz in about one month okay yeah. he left the country yes this is the friend that he talks about in the title i lost my best friend Bro, he's right there. This guy could have chosen from a ton of different titles, right? I, I met up with my best friend I haven't seen in years. Type stuff like that, you know? But he decided to title it, I lost my best friend. What does I lost my best friend make the average viewer think? Probably that he's dead or that he moved away. This guy takes clickbait to a whole new level, completely new heights. This guy's channel makes mine look good somehow, which, you know, there's something wrong when that's the case. One other thing, this guy also raps, I guess. Now I have no problem with YouTubers making music. I'm actually one of them. But I hate the fact that just like every YouTuber that decides to start making music, it always sucks. To be honest, I'm not even really a YouTuber turning into an artist or anything. I've been making beats and, and mastering instrumentals and doing all that stuff for years. I've been doing it for six years now. And now I'm finally at the point where I can make my music platform big. This guy just started rapping because he got big on YouTube. And by the way, chat, I am not a rapper. I am not saying that at all. Come on. This is not professional. Hey. Hey, hey, money, 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 Rich money, 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 and wealth. Why? I'm all for artists, you know, talking shit in their songs. You know, that's kind of like what rappers do. But when it's only about money, maybe he has some other songs where he, you know, he talks about life, kind of like how I do in my album. But this is just garbage so far, okay? I don't even want to keep watching this part. Next up in line, we're going to be watching reacting to my sister's video, dot, dot, dot. Awkward. All right, let's watch. If I make this shot, you all have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, I kind of forgot that they don't even go to the topic of the video until the very end, so I'm just gonna skip there. Finally back home right now. Listen, I quickly went and took a shower because the pepper I ate messed up my entire throat. Now that I'm back home, I've been getting a lot of people tagging me on Instagram saying, Yo, have you seen your sister's new video? And... Honestly, I have no idea what they're talking about, so... Bro, you literally run a YouTube channel with your sister. You don't know what... Dude, obviously you do. This might be a reach on my end, but it's just what I feel. I feel like this guy is just trying to set up this entire video idea for views because, you know, he has a picture of his girlfriend in a revealing outfit in the thumbnail. I don't think anybody was in your DM saying, hey man, did you did you see your sister's video? Pretty sure you just found this opportunity on your own and was like, ah, let's do this. 
right now, I want to go and see what my sister's uploaded. Because like a lot of people are tagging me and adding me saying, Yo, I can't believe your sister did that. The video is her just putting on some clothes, by the way. I don't know why anybody would be, you know, shocked about this. Pretty sure this is just you trying to present this opportunity to yourself. Because you know that if your sister's wearing some sort of revealing outfit in your videos, that it'll pull views. I'm not going to say that this is factual information by any means, but this is just what I'm kind of sensing. And I don't know what she did. Like, I, I'm literally clueless right now. So I'm going to open my laptop and we're going to see what she did. All right, here goes nothing, guys. We're going to type in Lana Rose on YouTube. That's awkward. Why? Why are you making it awkward? It's, it's your sister trying on a swimsuit. How is this in any way? Awkward. I, I think you're the one making this awkward. Okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's just a th You know what, guys? I think it might just be the thumbnail, okay? I don't think her video is that bad. Bro, it's not bad at all. Let's, okay, let's just skip to the video. Outfit I've tried on is this one. The only thing is the size. It's not the right fit for my body. Yeah, this is what it looks like, guys. You can kind of see the navel from here. I don't know what you guys Whoa! Bro. <sighs> What? Dude, this guy has 10 million subscribers. I honestly don't have any sort of faith or hope for these family channels here on YouTube. This is probably one of the worst ones I've seen yet. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna title this the worst family channel. I'm just gonna say they need to be stopped, bro, because they honestly do. This is just strange behavior coming from this guy. Not me saying he needs to be canceled or anything. I don't really care about that type of stuff, but this guy definitely needs to stop doing this to his sister. All right, that's all I really got for today. Make sure to go check out this new outfit outro song that I have that's going to be playing here in a second. I really like it, and uh, yeah, if you want to have the same music taste as me, then feel free to go check it out. The link will be in the description. Anyways, peace.